<laughs> Lovely to see you sit down there. Mm -hmm. Now, it was your mother-in-law, Rona, who wrote and told me a most marvellous story about you. Now, you weren't born in Britain, were you? No. In fact, you were born 12,000 miles away in New Zealand. Mm. Now, you were born of a single mum, weren't you? Yes. And your mum had a hard time. Your mum's name is Glynneth. And she did her best to bring you up, but she really, she really couldn't make it because of certain circumstances. And through no choice of her own, you were just a toddler when she had to put you up for adoption. Is that right? Yeah. Well, you were adopted by two British parents. And then they decided to come back and live back home here in Britain. And this is where you've lived ever since. Now, I know throughout your childhood and throughout the years, you've never, ever forgotten, really, your real mum, Glynneth. And indeed, there were lots of times when you wanted to make contact with your mum, but something kept holding you back. You were, you were frightened, really, in mm. case you were rejected. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until last year, and I think that's your dear husband, Mark, there, he persuaded you to write to the New Zealand authorities, yeah. the Adoption Society. And you did this. <laughs> and what happened next? Because um, they replied to your letter. Yeah, they replied and said that they believed that they'd found my mother and did I want to contact her yes. or would they like them to do it? So I wrote... You wrote to your mum? Wrote. And were you worried? Well, I just wrote a simple letter because yeah. I understood that she must have a new family and, you know, I didn't want to sort of come in, in between them. Yes. So, and she rang me a week later. She actually she telephoned you? Yeah. And that must have been fantastic yeah. for you. <laughs> it was. And lots of tears and everything mm. down the telephone. And ever since yeah. then, you've, you've kept in touch. Yeah. And indeed, you've discovered that you have got a full sister, a yeah. full-blooded sister. Yeah. What's her name? Uh, Alani. Alani, yes. Mm. And she's just, I believe, a teenager, about 15 she's, years old. Yeah, 15 or 16. Well, I did promise you a very special video message. And as it's Mother's Day, I want you to have a look at this. Hi, Deanne. This is your mum here from New Zealand. Good old Kiwi land. <laughs> love you. Always have done. I'm sorry that I gave you up for adoption when you were little, love. But times were hard and I couldn't cope. One day, hopefully, what do they call it over in Great Britain? I think you call it the lottery. We call it lotto. Maybe one day I'll win that. And we'll be able to meet again and I can hold you like I did as a little baby, love. Love you. Bye. to win the lottery because surprise surprise we have flown her all the way over from New Zealand to be with you you haven't seen her since you were a toddler here she is she's not come alone she's with the sister you've never ever met Alani come in Glynneth and Alani say Mother's Day, and to all you dads, well, we love you too. Surrounded.